Welcome hey guys, back welcome to my back channel. To my and today channel. we are and brought today to you we by are brought my, to bed. Bed. <laughs> my bed. Um, I decided to do like this, like laid, like literally a laid back um, Q and A video because I've been feeling like crap lately, and I just want to talk to you guys because you guys make me feel so much better. And so I just thought, why not answer some of you guys' questions? So yeah, let's get started. Oh, so you know, grab your blanket, wrap yourself around like a taco, and enjoy this video. So first question, is Adrian awesome? No, she is not. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Adrian, you're amazing. I had so much fun with you in New Orleans. Love you loads. But her real question was, when is your birthday? My birthday is actually September 20th. Um, lately I've been like saying like September 19 because that was the day of my 15 and I got like so used to saying it so like I guess I have double birthdays. How did you cut your hair without it looking like a kindergarten art project? <laughs> I love the way you put it. Okay, so, um, for those that didn't know, I cut my own hair. Like lately I've been cutting it like a lot. <laughs> so, it, and someone actually asked me like, um, at school the other day like how much how do you like afford cutting your hair so much I actually cut it myself um, after I had like a traumatizing experience cut when I went to go cut my hair um, but yeah I cut it myself I actually FaceTimed my cousin my cousin my friend the first time I cut my hair Mitzi shout outs um, she told me to just divide my hair like part my hair and like through the middle and just kind of like pull it up to the front and just like cut it to where I wanted. If you guys want, I will may actually do a tutorial of me cutting my hair if you guys want. Comment down below if you want me to. But it's not that easy, you know. Um, it's really easy. Just have confidence on yourself. Don't like, if you mess up, you mess up, you know, go shorter or go home. My, what's your favorite childhood memory? My favorite childhood memory was probably, my favorite childhood memory was probably when I would be in the car jamming out with my dad to church songs. That's probably like the best memory, childhood memory that I have of me as a child. What's your favorite thing to do? Um, when I'm not singing and when I'm not like dancing around in my room by myself. I love to watch Netflix. Um, right now the show that I'm obsessing with is Grey's Anatomy. So if you haven't watched Grey's Anatomy, go watch it. You'll get addicted and you'll probably think that you can just do open heart surgery like right then and there. <laughs> What's the perfect guy for you? Okay, so the perfect guy for me would be someone that is very caring, very responsible, willing to spend time with me. Um, and, you know, just accept my crazy self and my crazy life. <laughs> what is the most romantic thing you wish someone would do for you? Um, just come, honestly, what I think is romantic is so cute. Like when, like if you have like a boyfriend or something and they just like show up by your house randomly and like they're like, okay, let's watch movies and like eat ice cream or whatever and like cuddle. That is like super romantic and cute to me, to me. You know, that is very cute and romantic to me. <laughs> Would you say that what has happened to you changed you for the better or the worst? Um, lately I've been having a lot of things happen to me and I've realized so many things. So I, I feel like all of this has made me a better, changed me for the better. I've realized that I shouldn't be as kind to people or I should you shouldn't, you know, this is my advice. Don't. Be kind, be kind to people, but also know the people. Like, you'll never really know people, no matter how long you've known them, no matter how much crap you say you went through with them, just, you will never know anyone. And I'll say, yes, I did change for the better because I am wide awake now. I know what's happening around me now. And yeah, I did, I did change for the better. Are you proud to be who you are now? Actually, I am really proud to be who I am now. I really... I am... I am very proud to be who... 
Are you done? I am very proud to be who I am now. I'm very proud. When you were younger, would you have thought that you would be like you are now? Honestly, no, no. I went through so much um, low self-esteem when I was younger, and now I'm like confident with myself, and I'm like, I honestly wouldn't have thought that I'd be doing this when I was younger. And honestly, I'd feel like if you would have told little old me that I'd be doing what I am now, I'd probably laugh in your face because, you know, no, not at all, not a chance, no. When I was younger, I was like really shy, and now I'm like really loud and like I'm just there. What's your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is lavender. Lavender is my favorite color, but then green's also my favorite color. But then blue is also my favorite color. My favorite shade of green is this green over here. And yeah. Why short hair? Okay. For those that didn't know, I used to have very, very long hair. If you haven't seen videos of me, my first two videos, I had very, very, very long hair. Like my hair was up halfway through my butt. It was so long. I've always had long hair, and I hated it, um, but I think it was year 2014, I was getting surgery, so I was like, hey mom, I should cut my hair, like, I didn't want long hair, because long hair is, like, a struggle, and I have a lot of hair, so, like, it was even more of a struggle, and I was like, hey, so I'm gonna get surgery, and it's gonna be a lot harder to wash my hair after surgery, and, like, our sink is very small, and whatever, so I can finally convince my parents to let me cut my hair. And I'm going to go cut it. And I cut it like about here. And then I let it grow out again. And it was like up to here. And I just don't like long hair. I love the feeling of having short hair. Like I feel like it's so much easier to manage. And to like you know. It's like I can just. I know I can't really put it like up in a bun all of it. Because like it would like fall out. But you can do like the half bun. Like the space buns and whatever. I find like short hair very cute. And it's really easy to like straighten really quick and like curl really quick, so I love it. Favorite song at the moment. My favorite song at the moment is Fast Cars by Jonas Blue. If you were rich, what would you do to help out? I want to be help children from poor places achieve their dreams, to make their dreams come true. That is something that I want to do when I'm older and even more if I'm rich. I would do it because that'd make me really happy to make other people's dreams come true. <laughs> are your dreams happening slowly, but are they happening? Yes, my dreams are. And I'm so happy and I'm so thankful for all of you guys because for without you guys' support, it, honestly, like, I would be back where I was, like, five months ago. Because you guys have spread the word of, like, I've literally go out in the street sometimes and there'd be like someone someone like not every day but like someone be like oh my god you're official Susie G or like oh you do that you do those you do video YouTube videos or you're that girl I went to Lavanda I'm like so excited and I've had so much support from you guys and I love it it's amazing and yeah my dreams are slowly happening but I am getting there and it all is going to take its time, but I'm getting there, and I'm so thankful for you guys. Without you guys' support, I'd be literally, I literally would have, like, one view on my videos. So I'm so thankful for you guys. Thank you so much for everything. So that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, just like how I enjoyed making it. Um, yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Snapchat. And, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.